This Excel spreadsheet will allow you to plan your finances for the next 12 months. You input your debts, if you have some, and how much you repay every month. You also input your monthly expenses and your anticipated income. Then you input your savings goals and how much you want to commit to them every month. Based on all this, the system will calculate your cash flow for the next 12 months, and also when your debt repayments will be completed, and when you will reach your financial goals. Charts will give you a visual of things to come, and also will help you see where your money goes. Note. This is a quick demo, so we will go through all this pretty fast. Now without further ado, let's get right into it, as they say on YouTube. Okay, let's uh, do this quickly. So we have five sets of cells here. The first set of cells, which is for the outstanding debt. So we allow ourselves to do three types of debts. We input them here, and this will be the total of debt. And this is the amount of repayment that we want to do each month. Monthly expenses, three types of expenses. You can list them here, and there is a total here. Monthly income, three types of income and the total here, outstanding saving goals. So we up to three goals that you want to save for and you put the amount here. You don't have to put three, you can put uh, uh, one, two or three. And there is a total here and how much you want to give every month to cover that, uh, to cover the free goals will be here. Now cash is how much money you currently have on your cash accounts or however you call them. And that gives you the total here. And that's calculated uh, the money that you have left uh, after you have deducted your expenses or your savings from your income. So here I have, so this is simple calculation, income, less debts, less expenses, less what you have committed for savings. So here that has to be positive, otherwise you're in trouble. So a warning a sign here uh, that spells out like this. If this field is negative, then I put a warning sign here. So let's say you are a bit ambitious and you want to uh, put $1,000 every month for your debts. That's actually just enough. But if you want to put more, then you have a negative here. And so that's, that's not enough, it tells you. So you have to, to go back in line. And okay, let's put 500 here. So this is it. So under this, we repeat the headings. And then here we copy the total debts and we have the monthly repayment here. So here this is the this is the formula that I have. Have a look here. Expenses, it's always the same, but we need that for the charts. The monthly income, always the same. Savings gold, same, so we part from zero and every month we give money until we have reached our goal. So the, the formula here is a little bit different. Cash that is being uh, recalculated every month. You just take the income, less all the expenses, all the savings goals. You drag that down and I give you this. At the bottom here, I have three fields. Uh, start debt, so that's a, another field in yellow. The yellow is a field that you need to input. It calculates you how many months you have to complete. So to calculate the month, I do a roundup. Uh, I divide what is required by the monthly repayments. That gives me eight. And I add eight months to this date. And to do add eight months, I just do the E date, C34 to C33. So I add eight months to this. Interests are not taken into account, just uh, so that you know. So it's just uh, a brutal division, if you like. So here, savings goal, it's the same principle. I calculate the month left to complete. And I use the same E date function to add it all up. And before we get into the charts, I do a quick summary here, debt, expenses, goal, cash left, 400, 2,000, 500, 500. So that's our amount here, 400, 2,000. Because I wanna give you an idea of where the money goes every month. So I, we don't need to put income, but what we do is we just select all this and we insert a pie chart. So I've inserted a pie chart here. I've added the labels, right click, add labels. And I've added not only the, the amount, but also the category 
of the data. So that will show uh, this way, and then you can put it in white and put it on the side. The dates chart, that's very easy. You just take this, select, insert, dates. You just take one of those charts here. Uh, the only thing I've done is obviously you remove the background uh, for my shape field should be no field. Uh, you remove all the axes and you put uh, the color, the same color of your date, which is a pale red here. And you put, uh, let me show you for my data series, you put a white border, solid white border, and I have 1.5 point to be precise. So here, this is a similar type of chart, but this is a stacked bars. So what I do is I select, I press control key, I select the dates, I select the savings gold, and I select the cash. And I do an insert, and here I take stacked chart. So that gives you this way. And after you, you right click on it, and then you play around with the, if you want to, to have the date on top, and I think I'll show you why you need to have the date on top. So you just uh, make sure that you have the, the date, which is a red one on top. Is that here, this is not really the money you have. So it's just to, to show that once you get rid of your debt, then you, you can um, have more money here. And that is the, the money growth. So in order to do this, I have selected the Benchcrift condensed font. I right click it on the normal here, on the normal style here. I modified it and I just format it with a very, as a feel, a very deep blue. And I have the font in white. And I could have also put my favorite font here. So I hope this is useful. Uh, this is to be done at the beginning of the month. You have a look at uh, where your money goes. And hopefully uh, this will improve your, 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 the 12 months ahead of you to do a bit more planning. <laughs>